So now that you've seen what it looks like when I take my fish out of the freezer and cook it for dinner, I'm going to show you what it was like to pack it and put it into the freezer. And notice how this fish is the same exact one that I took out yesterday. I'll be showing you how to do this with that fish plus two others. So here is that same fish again that I caught the day that my husband came with me. And this is what it looks like when I am getting the fillets off of it at the cleaning table at Ship Creek. And once I get done with this, I put the fillets into the cooler and then I take them home. And that's where I vacuum seal them, which is what I'm about to do right here. All right, got that going. This is my big silver from this morning. And the device I'm using in this video is the same exact type that I saw my dad use when I was younger. Except I remember ours was like a weird off-white color. But it's called a food saver. It's a vacuum sealer. You can find it at Walmart or probably any department store near you. And as you can see, it's been sitting all winter since I haven't had any fish to seal it with for a while. So I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down, but I wanted to show you what it is that I'm using in this part or in this process of this video. So for those of you who may be unfamiliar with this device and what I'm doing, as I said before, this is a vacuum sealer. And so that's what that noise is. It is vacuuming all of the air out of the packaging and I just kind of run my hand along the fillets to help any trapped air bubbles get sucked up. Yeah. It's so pretty. Oh, thank you, Lord. Now, for the smaller one. What a good, blessed morning indeed. Ooh, I'm my balance. I can't complain. I only got two out of a possible three for the daily limit. I get to go back tonight. One. <laughs> and if you missed my video on how I cook the salmon, that's okay. Just click on the link on the screen. It'll take you right to it. And this is what they look like when they're done. Look at that sizzle. Oh, man. As always, thanks for tuning in to Real Alaskan Fishing. We'll catch you later.